There are a lot of people in this world that are terrified of snakes. They were even portrayed as the bad guy in the Bible. But snakes are fascinating creatures, and with 3,000 known species of snakes in the world, there are many that I bet you've never heard of. From a snake that doesn't quite lay eggs like most others, to a snake found in a lifeless battle with a very scary insect, here are the 20 rarest snakes in the world. Number 20. Red Spitting Cobra the Red Spitting Cobra, or Naja Paida, is a species of small snake that can be found in northeastern and eastern Africa, occupying dense forests and dry savanna grasslands. Adult cobras are nocturnal hunters. It looked like a normal snake until someone got close to it. If threatened, the species spits two streams of venom at its adversary. The venom is primarily cytotoxic, but it also contains neurotoxins, which means it can affect the nervous system if the yield is high. Thanks to this unusual technique, the cobra is able to hit the target with remarkable accuracy up to 4 meters away. There can be permanent eye damage or even blindness. Naja Paida is a small but very active cobra measuring up to 1.5 meters and lives at low altitudes. Its color can range from deep red through honey to pale brown, usually with a dark teardrop mark below each eye and a dark band across the throat. When standing, the belly is noticeably shiny. It's more inclined to spit than to bite. It has a dangerous tendency to get close to humans who sleep on the ground, mainly at night, slithering out of holes or from under piles of branches. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Antiguan Racer also known as Alcephus antigua, this snake has been assessed as critically endangered. This species was historically lost from Antigua due to the introduction of the mongoose and from Barbuda for unknown reasons, being reduced to a single population that, until recently, only survived on Great Bird Island. Since 1995, the Offshore Islands Conservation Program has run a reintroduction program, and there are now populations on Rabbit, Green, and York Islands with a global population exceeding 1,100. However, the species' home range is only 0.65 square kilometers, less than 0.1% of its natural range, and is continuously threatened by invasive species, inbreeding, depression, and natural disasters. Ongoing conservation management, population monitoring, and control of invasive species is needed to ensure the persistence of this species. This species is found in habitats with dense undergrowth in the Caribbean. The surviving population is found in an area characterized mainly by coastal scrub and dry forest. Historically, the species presumably occurred in wetter habitats on the Antiguan mainland. Invasive mammals, particularly black rats and mongooses, are a major threat to this species and are responsible for its dramatic historical decline in abundance and extinction in Antigua. Although some of the now-inhabited islands have been cleared of invasive predators, re-invasions are a threat. Number 18. St. Lucian Racer Meet one of the rarest snakes in the whole world, the St. Lucian Racer. It's slippery, brown, and doesn't mind being caught. The St. Lucia Racer snake has the dubious honor of being the world's most endangered snake. After an exhaustive five-month search, only 18 of these animals have been found on an islet near the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. Long ago, these snakes were very abundant in St. Lucia, but they were decimated by invasive mongooses. For almost 40 years, it was believed that the snake was extinct. That was until 1973 when one of these snakes was found on Maria Major Island, a protected 30-acre islet a mile off the coast of St. Lucia. After trapping and marking 10 specimens, scientists believe that a total of 18 of these snakes survive. On the island, there is no longer a trace of mongooses, but the numbers of the species do not seem to be healing. The Santa Lucia runner snake, which is not poisonous, feeds on the lizards in the area. Conservationists working on the Santa Lucia racer snake case 
take a hard look at the success of efforts to save the Antiguan racer. Elimination of invasive predators like mongooses and rats and education efforts have helped the Antiguan racer snake to recover. The researchers now want to reintroduce the snake to new habitats as a preventative and safety measure to prevent its extinction. Number 17. Orlov's Viper this viper is native to the Black Sea region of Russia, specifically it's endemic to the Caucasus region. This snake has a very unusual appearance with its triangular head, but it also has long and venomous fangs which are folded against the roof of the mouth when the viper's not using them. Because of its original appearance, Orlov's viper is very popular as a pet, which causes it to be critically endangered due to widespread poaching. It's estimated that there are less than 250 adults in the wild right this moment. These vipers eat a wide range of foods, including mice, lizards, frogs, and insects. But today, due to poaching and loss of natural habitat, the Orlov's viper has less than 100 square meters or 38 square miles of natural habitat remaining. Typically, the body is pale gray-brown in color with a distinctive dark zigzag dorsal stripe and dark spots and blotches along the side of the body. Their color can vary quite a bit, with some specimens being tinged yellow or reddish, while others may be fully bronze or black. Adult Orlov's vipers can grow up to half a meter or more. Number 16. Round Island Boa also known as Balearia multicarinata, this snake is an extinct species that was once endemic to Mauritius. The Round Island burrowing boa was last seen in 1975, and sadly, no subspecies are currently recognized. This boa was not very big. It grew up to 1 meter or 3 feet 3 inches in length. Its color was described as light brown with darker or black spots on its dorsal and a pink and black marbled belly. As you can see, the body was completely cylindrical and and it had a pointed snout. This general body form suggests that the Round Island burrowing boa had fossorial tendencies, which means it burrowed in the ground. Its closest living relative today is the Round Island boa, also known as Cassaria dusumieri. The diet of the extinct snake is unknown, but it's believed that it fed on lizards on the island. This species had an extremely small range, perhaps the smallest of any snake, of only 1.5 square kilometers or .58 square miles. It preferred hardwood forests and palm savannas. This snake once roamed free on Gunner's Coin, Flat Island, Round Island, and Ile de la Paz, but it survived the longest on Round Island until it was last seen decades ago. Number 15. Short-Nosed Sea Snake This little reptile was thought to be extinct in one of its last natural habitats on Earth until it was rediscovered. There might just be a second chance for the elusive short-nosed sea snake. A group of researchers from the Schmidt Ocean Institute were the ones to spot the promising specimen in Ashmore Reef, just off the northern coast of Western Australia. In fact, it was the first sighting of this species in this particular location since 1998. There is only one other place known where the short-nosed sea snake lives, and that is Shark Bay, also in Western Australia. There, a very small population was found back in 2015. This is remarkable news. It proves that this critically endangered snake is still hanging on in the waters of the tiny Ashmore and Cartier Islands, which, by the way, decades ago was considered the most vastly biodiverse hotspot for sea snakes in the world. Sadly, due to pollution, fishing, and other human-caused issues, there aren't that many snakes left there today. The elusive short-nosed sea snake was spotted 67 meters below the surface in a layer of the ocean known as the Twilight Zone. The team of researchers used a submersible rover named Subastian in order to make the deep dive. Number 14. Aruba Island Rattlesnake Meet one of the rarest rattlesnakes in the world, the elusive and shy Aruba Island rattlesnake. Why is it so rare, you may ask? Well, that's because this species of snake only exists on the tiny little island of Aruba just off the coast of Venezuela in South America, where only just 25 square kilometers of natural habitat remain undisturbed. That's not much space for a whole species to hunt, live, reproduce, and nest. The Aruba Island rattlesnake belongs to the viper family, and like most vipers, it has a V-shaped head. 
head. Also like most vipers, this little reptile is rather venomous. It delivers its venom from its long and hollow fangs, which fold against the roof of the mouth when the snake isn't using them. They mainly prey on small rodents, lizards, and birds. Their main predators are crested caracaras, marlins, and osprey. On average, they grow up to 95 centimeters and weigh between 0.9 and 1.4 kilograms. They can live anywhere from 12 to 20 years. As you can see, they have a very pale cream, beige, and gray color which allows them to fuse perfectly with their rocky and dry environment. Sadly, due to loss of natural habitat, this species of snake is critically endangered. Number 13. Golden Lancehead Snake not only is this snake extremely rare, but it's also one of the most venomous snakes on the whole planet. This is the strange story of the golden lancehead snake. This species is endemic of only one island, Ilha da Queimada, just 90 miles off the coast of the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil. The island is not big, it only covers about 110 acres, but it has the peculiarity that since not that long ago, it was actually attached to the main continent. When this chunk of land got separated, it took with it an elusive species of snake that now had to adapt to a new environment to survive. This snake used to hunt for little rodents and the like on the ground, but seeing as not all the creatures were surviving the new island life, they had to get creative. They started climbing the trees to hunt for birds, but as you well know, birds are quite fast and can fly. That's how the golden lancehead snake evolved to have one of the most lethal and potent venoms in the natural kingdom, so that one single bite would instantly kill the bird and they could feed on them. Today, there are thousands of these snakes on the island. It has become one of the most dangerous places on Earth, so much so that the Brazilian government has forbidden visiting it. Number 12. Dragon Snake Also known as Xenodermis javanicus, rough baked litter snake, or Javan mud snake, this snake is a very interesting one. This species is considered to be quite rare, and due to its inability to survive in captivity, it's not widely kept as a hobby either. They are not prolific breeders. They only lay a clutch of two to four eggs a year, which may be one of the reasons why they are so rare. This snake is nocturnal and feeds exclusively on frogs and burrows during the day. It is native to Thailand, Burma, and Indonesia. It's famous, though, for one very peculiar behavior. They call it the stiff behavior, and it consists of exactly what it sounds like. The snake will stiffen up, almost becoming like a wooden board in any position it's in when somebody touches it or picks it up. This is a very interesting response and quite unique, one that scientists and researchers still can't explain. This snake is obviously also very striking looking. Instead of having smooth skin like most snakes, this one has three rows of large keeled scales that run down the center of its back, hence the name of dragon snake. They grow to about two to two and a half feet. Number 11, Albino Cobra. Albino cobras, not unlike any albino animal on Earth, are extremely rare, but albino cobras in particular are really hard to come by, so much so that albino cobras are among the 10 rarest albino animals in the world, according to reptile experts. This specimen is a spectacled cobra, also known as Naya Naya, and it was spotted for the first time in Uttarakhand, India. Only four of these snakes have been sighted in recorded history, and the other sightings occurred in Haldwani of Nanital District. A scientific paper that was filed in July and accepted in October 2020 tells us a bit more about albinism. According to the researchers, albinism is a genetically inherited condition which results either in partial or complete loss of coloration from the skin, hair, scales, feathers, and eyes. In the case of fish and reptiles, albino specimens are easily recognizable by their pinkish yellowish body coloration and red eyes. Basically, some variation in the genetic information occurs that tells the body not to produce pigmentation or to produce much less. That's why albino animals, including humans, have white hair and pink skin. They also rescued a white cobra hatchling, as it's popularly called. It was an animal lover that found the youngling, thought to be not a day older than five days old. Number 10. Tiger Keelback Snake 
This gorgeous snake is a venomous species native to East Asia and Southeast Asia. Its dorsal color pattern is not only striking looking, but quite unique too. It has an olive drab green color with black and white orange crossbars or spots from the neck down the first third of the body and a whitish belly. Usually in nature, when a creature is very bright and colorful, it's not just to be pretty. It's a warning sign that the creature is either venomous or poisonous. And the tiger keelback snake is no exception, as they are quite venomous. They live in mixed and deciduous forests, flooded terrains, ponds, and other water bodies. They actually very rarely venture far from water. They are diurnal, which means they are active during the day, spending most of their time looking for prey, which they detect using both chemical and visual cues. The chemical sense involves the smell and tongue. But this snake doesn't produce the venom it has, it actually acquires it from eating poisonous toads. Then, the venom is kept in special glands in their neck that can secrete the substance when the snake bites. The venom mixed with the saliva can cause severe poisoning when on contact with the wound. Number 9. Nose Horned Viper also known as the horned viper or sand viper, this reptile is a species of snake in the Viperidae family. It is found in southern Europe, throughout the Balkans, and in parts of the Middle East. It is considered the most dangerous of the European venomous vipers in consideration of its size, long fangs of more than 13 millimeters, and high toxicity. Its scientific name, which is Vipera amodites, is derived from the Greek amos or sand and vites or digger, which isn't the best description for an animal that actually prefers to live among rocks. It grows to a length of 95 centimeters, but the size is very dependent on the different species and subspecies. The head is covered with small, irregular scales, which are smooth or only slightly raised. Its most notable feature is its horn on the snout, consisting of 9 to 17 scales grouped in two, sometimes four, transverse rows. It grows up to 5 millimeters and is soft and flexible. In the southern subspecies, this horn rises vertically, while in the V. A. Amidites species, it projects diagonally. The color pattern is different for males and females. In males, the head is irregular dark brown, dark gray, or black marked. A thick black stripe runs from behind the eye to behind the angle of the jaw. The tongue is usually black, and the iris is gold or copper. They have a characteristic dark spot, a V-shaped mark on the back of the head, often connecting with a dorsal zigzag. Number 8. San Francisco Garter Snake this magnificent snake has been dubbed the most beautiful serpent in North America. It's easy to see why. Ironically, though, the San Francisco garter snake is arguably one of the most endangered, too. All known populations of this amazingly colored snake occur in very scarce coastal and bayside wetlands in San Mateo County. This species' natural habitats have been hit hard by agricultural, residential, commercial, and even recreational development. Thankfully, there are groups out there that are working hard to restore the habitat for this gorgeous, rare, and unique turquoise serpent. There are also other factors that make the future of this species quite uncertain, and an important one is toxic pesticides. It shouldn't come as a surprise that toxic pesticides are toxic to a lot of insects. I mean, that's what they're for. But people often overlook the fact that they're also toxic for many animal species that are not harmful to crops or gardens. The San Francisco garter snake is one of them. All the more reason to switch to a green and biodegradable pesticide. There are lots on the market. Number 7. Saharan Horned Viper the Desert Horned Viper, scientific name Cerastes cerastes, is a poisonous snake that belongs to the Viperidae family. The term Cerastes derives from ancient Greek and literally means horned. This is because the Desert Horned Viper has two curious horns above its eyes. Although it's a venomous species, the Desert Horned Viper is not considered particularly dangerous. This viper is well tolerated by humans probably due to its particular appearance. In some regions, it's even believed that the Cerastes Cerastes has magical powers and is capable of flying. The Desert Horned Viper is not a particularly large snake. Its average length is between 30 and 60 centimeters. The females are bigger than the males. The largest documented specimen of this species measures 85 centimeters. The body has a robust appearance, the tail may have a black tip, and it's short and thin. The scales are heavily keeled and make Cerastes 
Nasty Cerastes look rough and dusty. On the sides of the snake, the scales are large, oblique, and serrated to allow it to move better in the sand. The muzzle is short, the head is large, flat, triangular, and quite distinct from the neck. The eyes are of medium size, prominent, and with vertical pupils. There is significant sexual dimorphism, with male specimens having larger heads and eyes than females. The nostrils look up. Behind the nostrils, it has heat sensors that allow it to detect warm-blooded animals even in the dark. Number 6. Rainbow Snake Tracy Cawthon, the woman who found this curious rainbow snake specimen, didn't believe her eyes when she found it. Without further delay, she took out her cell phone and took a few photos of the animal, which was five feet long and which she spotted in the Ocala National Forest in the center of the Florida Peninsula. This snake had not been seen in Marion County since 1969, according to the FWC Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. The snake, a member of the Ferrancha erythrogramma species, is particularly difficult to spot as it has a highly aquatic lifestyle, spending most of its time hidden in aquatic vegetation. This snake is believed to have embarked on a journey to another watery medium as the nearby Rodman Reservoir had been recently drained. These snakes are rarely seen, even by herpetologists, due to their cryptic habits. Burrowing near streams, lakes, swamps, and tidal marshes, rainbow snakes specialize in eating eels, earning them the nickname Eel Moccasin. Despite their striking appearance, rainbow snakes are neither venomous nor aggressive. In fact, they are quite tame. It's undeniable that they are gorgeous animals. They have a spilled oil effect on their scales, which shimmers when the light hits it in the right way. Number 5. Albany Adder Meet the Albany Adder, a snake that calls South Africa its home and with only 17 known records. It is one of the rarest snakes on the whole planet. Albany Adders are a species of dwarf adders, meaning they are pretty little reptiles. Their only known location of natural habitat is under serious threat due to open cast mining, wind turbines, and road developments. On top of that, Albany Adders are very closely linked to a particular vegetation called Koga Bontveld and sadly, there's not much left of it in the wild. And not only that, but two-thirds of the remaining Kagabonveld is spot on in the middle of the mining area. If nothing is done very fast, if someone doesn't intervene on behalf of this snake, it may not be on this world for much longer. Thankfully, there are several organizations that are working tirelessly to save the Albany Adder. They are working closely with the cement company that owns much of the land where this reptile lives. There's also a team urgently looking for the remaining population, and if found, the cement company will then enter a stewardship agreement with the South African Conservation Authorities. Let's hope it all goes well for this little snake. Number 4. Striped Blind Snake this cute little reptile is a striped blind snake. As the name suggests, this creature is, in fact, blind. They live in Singapore, and they are the largest species of the genus Ramphotyphlips. A specimen that was found back in 2019 measured exactly 52.4 centimeters, of which 0.7 centimeters was the tail. But that was a rare occurrence, as these snakes are rarely seen. They inhabit lowland and lower montane forests up to elevations of about 1,400 meters. Most most blind snakes are highly secretive, fossorial, or burrowing species, and they rarely venture above ground. The body of the striped blind snake is relatively slender and is surrounded by a very recognizable cross-section. The head is very distinct from the neck, and it has a very unique and somewhat cute round and blunt snout. In fact, this peculiar nose allows the snake to burrow easier in firm soil. It has different scale rows that are alternatively pale cream, light brown or yellowish, or dark brown or brown black. The belly is either cream-colored or yellow. Like most blind animals, the striped blind snake has a highly developed sense of smell, which it uses to discern if there are enemies nearby, and then acts accordingly. Number 3. The Malagasy Leaf-Nosed Snake this funny-looking snake is endemic to Madagascar. It is found in dry forests and tropical forests. Its habitat is the low branches of trees one and a half to two meters above the ground where it stalks its prey. It reaches a meter in length. It is of arboreal habits, which means it spends most of its life on trees and has an elongated head with a small extension or appendage in the upper jaw. It presents sexual dimorphism. Males have a brown coloration on the dorsal part and yellow on the ventral part and in a 
elongated conical appendix, while females have gray colorations and spots with brown tones and a flattened, leaf-shaped appendix, hence its name. The two sexes look so different, in fact, that for a long time, experts thought that males and females were different species. The function or usefulness of the leaf-shaped appendage is not known, apart from helping the species camouflage being confused with branches and thus going unnoticed by their predators. Most of the time, it hunts by waiting and ambushing its prey. They are often seen hanging from a branch with their heads pointing downwards. Their prey includes arboreal and terrestrial lizards such as geckos and also frogs. Some people keep these snakes as pets, but it's not common to see them in trade since their food is very expensive. It has fangs and venom glands, and although the bite is painful for humans, it is not fatal. It's not an aggressive animal and prefers to escape when threatened. Number 2. Tantilla uolitica Meet North America's rarest snake. The Rimrock Crown Snake, as it's also known, was recently spotted in a park in the Florida Keys after going radio silent for four years. This is great news, of course, and conservationists were quite incredulous and in awe at learning this news. Sadly, though, the snake was found dead, locked in lifeless combat with a very scary creature, a giant centipede. In fact, the snake had managed to swallow the giant centipede halfway when it died. This is an important fact, because before this occurrence, researchers didn't really have a clue about the snake's eating habits. The Rimrock Crown Snake has some closely related species that are known to prey on the giant centipede, but until now, it was unsure that this one did too. Apparently, it's extremely rare to find animals that died while eating prey, and given how rare it is to even see this snake in the first place, it's safe to say that this is a very unique occurrence. It left experts completely flabbergasted. Number 1. Wagner's Viper this species is found in Turkey and Iran at an altitude ranging from 1,200 to 2,000 meters in grassy or rocky areas. It is a venomous and ovoviviparous snake, which means they're somewhere in between laying eggs and mammals. Basically, ovoviviparous organisms lay eggs and develop the eggs inside the mother's body. The eggs are hatched inside the mother. Once the egg hatches, it remains inside the mom for a period of time and is nurtured from within, but not via a placental appendage like in mammals. Animals. Ovoviviparous animals are born live, but small. Wagner's viper reaches about 70 to 95 centimeters. The head is quite broad and elongated and clearly stands out from the rest of the body. Its basic color is gray or brown, with brown patterns circled in black, sometimes connected to each other along the spine from the nape to the beginning of the tail. Dark dots or lines are present on the sides. A dark line is usually visible between the eye and the mouth. And no, if you were wondering about the name, this species is not named after the famous German composer. It was actually named in honor of Moritz Wagner, who was a German explorer who collected the type specimen in 1846. As you can see, there are lots of snakes in this world that only a lucky few get to see. If you could choose one of the snakes mentioned in this video to see in real life, which one would you choose and why? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!